Sorry to keep you waiting, ladies. So, uh, have you guys had a chance to get acquainted yet, huh? I'm bored. I'm scared. I really do not want to be here. Well, if you like, we can try for the VIP room, but I don't think there's room for the three of us and the camera crew, do you? <laughs> hey, I know what we need. How about a few cocktails to take the edge off? Larry, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be here, but don't you think this is a tad weird taking us to a strip bar on a date? Why? You uptight? I'm not uptight. I'm uptight. That's not what I heard. Save some energy for later, babes. One of you is gonna need it. Ah, perfect. Hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, I, I have two two-for-one coupons for these. Now, uh, <clears throat> one of them is expired, but uh, Linus said... Larry, that's uh, sweet of you, but I'll pay for them. Okay! But that's not gonna earn you any special points. I gotta remain impartial until after the questions start. Well, darn for me. Okay, so first things first. I lost the questions the producers gave us, but I wrote down what I remembered, and I'm pretty sure I got them right. So here goes. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate yourself at whoopee? Nine. Ten. Larry, what are you talking about? Can I change my answer? Sure, why not? Go for it. 23! Excellent. Okay then, next question. Where is the strangest place you've ever juggled the old canoe? Larry, are you talking about sex? Uh, yes. Inside one of the guard towers at the Photon Laser Tag Arena. Be on a dumpster at the last Diggy Pop concert. Assistant Dean Abramson's private bathroom. But you guys have to keep that a secret. <laughs> Great! Wow! Oh, this is going way better than I thought. All right, next question. If you were magically transported to a mystical fantasy universe and had to make Whoopi with a dragon in order to save the human race, would you do it? And if so, do you think you'd enjoy it? Huh? Susie, let's start with you this time. Yes and no. Interesting. Barbara Jo. What's a dragon? I'm sorry, that question's just weird. Can we skip to the next one? Man, you are uptight. <laughs> because I wouldn't have sex with a dragon. You'd sit there and rot in some cave forever just so you wouldn't have to give a dragon a blowjob? I like dragons. Okay, sure, fine. Under those circumstances, I would do it. Man, what a sicko. What? You fucking hypocrite. I don't know about you, sweetie, but I ain't chugging dragon cock for no man, no how. You Bitch! Ladies, a toast. Look, I just want you guys to know that if it were up to me, and I mean this sincerely, I would keep all three of you. But rules are rules. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut one of you loose before we advance to the next round of the date. But before that happens, I want to toast you guys and let you know that this has been, without a doubt, the best date of my entire life. Cheers! And that's a wrap. Okay, everybody, let's move on. Places and five, four, three,